I'm Brandon. I'm a Magic Kingdom custodial leader. I've been in the parks for about 10 years, and I am in charge of about 600 plus cast members. Good morning. Good morning. How have you been this morning? Everything good? Great. Perfect. You want to go help me check some other trash cans? Yeah, I'd love to. Perfect. I did my Disney College program in 2013, and my role was Tomorrowland Attractions. The reason why I did the Disney College program, my college professor told me it would break me out of my shell because I was very shy. I told my parents about it, but they were very skeptical about it. Uh, they weren't um, aware of the inclusive environment that we have here at the Walt Disney Company. And I took that leap and decided to continue with my career. Nice. Perfect. As soon as I graduated high school, I went straight into my HBCU at Benedict College in South Carolina. I went to school to study business management with a minor in finance. When I came down here and I got accepted to be a part of the Disney College program, um, when they put me in attractions, I was like, how am I going to use this, my degree, into attractions and whatnot? Uh, but I was able to talk to my leaders at the time, and they were like, hey, there is a management internship that you're able to do, and it could you know, further develop your growth and continue your Disney career in pursuing whatever you want to do, because we have so many different opportunities in this pro, you can do literally whatever you want. The skills that I was able to gain in the Disney College program was communication. We are very diverse. Our Haitian Creole customers, they do speak in a different language, so I learned to say hi and bye, so that way they feel like they're being included. Sapase! <laughs> I'm good. Good to see you. Time management skills, because uh, we have 600 plus customers, so you gotta find time to make sure that they feel like they've been heard, they've been helped and leadership skills. Even though I wasn't leading a dynamic team, I was still able to delegate some work and still motivate a lot of my cast members. Networking helped out a lot as well too. So many different opportunities and doors that would open up here. I've developed so many different partnerships and friends where they mention my name in a room full of opportunities. Possibilities are always endless. The way that we develop a connection to Disney on the Yard is that my team would host backstage events with Disney on the Yard where we're able to become advocates and explain what Disney on the Yard means and letting everyone know, hey, these are things that we're able to do in our community. So in that way, not only are we telling the cast about it, but the leader is also learning about what Disney on the Yard is at the same time. The reason why I would encourage HBCU students to come do the Disney College program is because it gives them an opportunity to break out of their shell like I was. They're able to see, grow, and enhance any opportunity that they want to do. You know, the sky is the limit, but you, you can't tell that person the sky is the limit when man has set foot on the moon. You can do anything. Endless opportunities. I'm Brandon, and I am Black History. Disney on the yard.